Hi, this is Mark from LongIslandWatch.com. Today we're going to reboot um, the two first Islander dress watches. I'm ISL 32 and 33. I'm actually wearing, I believe this is uh, 32. I think 33 was the blue dial. There was a white dial and a blue dial. Um, these came out, I, I don't even know, probably about a year ago. Maybe a little, maybe a little less than that. Um, did them in two different dial variations. And I wanted to reboot them now that they've been out of stock for quite a while. Um, I want to redo them same case, but just change up the dial and hand color a little bit. And I'm happy with the result. Um, you'll have to check it out. So, and the other wrist, I'm wearing um, my 6139. Really cool. Uh, I think that's about it. There's not much to say. Let's uh, see these reboots. So here we go, ISL 97 and 98. Just to give you a quick refresh, uh, it's the same case as the 32 and 33. The 32 and 33 are now fully retired. I will not be bringing these back. Um, changes I made between the two. Uh, the uh, automatic printing at the bottom is in script and it is applied. Uh, you'll see hand color changes by the same hand styles. We've dropped the date and we went open heart. So this is a true no date movement in NH38 as opposed to a 35. You may have heard me talk about in recent videos about the shortage of NH movements that's happening in industry um, due to, you know, the world economy and things shutting down, opening back up and shutting down. Uh, 38s, though, are in far less demand, so they tend to be a little bit easier to get. So this was kind of a no-brainer for me. So same watch, just you know, comes kind of different stuff going on with the coloring. What hits me first about... Yeah, obviously, all the originals and these is the beautiful pinstripe tapestry, vertical stripes, tuxedo stripes, whatever you want to call it, the dial. The dial work is beautiful. Look at that. Look at the lines. How nice with that pops. Oh, awesome, awesome, awesome. I decided to go with all silver hands. Some of you may be saying, Mark, this looks like the cream color of an Orient Bambino. You would be correct. Bambino, though, the 9N, the AC000, quadruple zero, quadruple zero, 9N, went with um, blue hands to offset it. I didn't want to do that. I wanted to keep it all silver. It felt it was a little more, I guess, formal in, in its own right. Uh, applied Islander logo, script writing applied, applied indices, open heart at the 9. So this is totally see-through. If I have the rotor down, you can see there's my glove in the back. Hello really beautiful you can't do this with a normal nh35 because you'll see the plates um it, it won't be see-through uh let's see so no date so it is a screw down crown let's zoom back a little bit oh i'm getting ahead of myself aren't i in case you don't remember what the original 32 and 33 were it's a 39 millimeter case so great 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 size 11 and a half thick to a flat anti-reflective sapphire crystal a 45 lug tip to lug tip Exhibition window case back, nothing special going on, just the NH38 movement and, of course, that open uh, balance wheel. My logo, brand name, 100 meters of water resistance, sapphire crystal. That 100 meters of water resistance is uh, brought along by a beautiful screw-down crown. Yes, a screw-down crown on a dress watch. It's one of my pieces of DNA that I wanted definitely to include in this watch. It was in the other ones as well. Logoed crown. So how do you do this guy? You unscrew it. It deploys. Can wind it and then there's only one click out to change the time there's no ghost click there's no ghost position because there's a true no date movement uh let's see brown leather strap and just like the original i kept it on a double push button and deployant for those it's a little bit fancier you know it saves the leather strap too because these i'll be honest they're not the highest quality leather straps in the world um so if you continue to pull them through a standard prong buckle they will deteriorate re-deteriorate rather quickly. Hard to use a since I said weight. So, yes, I am adding weight in the videos, and when I do the product listings, I do have my guys add the weight to the listing. So these are 73 grams. ISL 97. What am I missing? The price. 199 The old ones were 189 um, I really should be higher than 199 but I just didn't want to break the $200 threshold because the 38 movement is, is simply that much more expensive than the 35 um, So it should be more than the $10 differential, but I'm not taking it. I'm going to keep it under 200 So 199 Sapphire, screw down, automatic, open heart, beautiful, 
dial. So, I did not do blue, as you can see. I just did black and this kind of cream ivory champagne color that I showed you. So it's the same thing, except it is, I guess, is it more formal because it's black? But look at those. Look, don't look at the lights. Look at the dial work. Is that beautiful? And look at the movement. You know, an open heart or a skeleton watch actually is what ignited my love of wristwatches. And actually, as I can see it, I'm going to... Ah, I lost it. I wanted to keep it. Let's see if we can get it back. What you can see oscillating here, going kind of in and out here and in and out up here, that is the pallet wheel, uh, the pallet stones, excuse me, on the escapement. Oh, my God. If you're a watchmaker, you're probably crying right now. That's the pallet stones in the movement attached to the lever, and they are engaging and disengaging the escape wheel. So those are little red jewels. Those are two of the jewels that are in the movement. Oh, by the way, um, it is a, uh, I said an NH38 movement, so it's a 20, I don't know, 22 or 23 jewel. You know, I should probably know this. It should say it on the back. Oh, it is 24. Look at that, 24 jewels. <laughs> Uh, hand wine tax, 40 hours of power reserve. It is starting to thunder here. Um, that's it. There is no room to show you, so I'm just going to try it on, and uh, we'll be completo. So here it is on my six and three quarter inch wrist. It looks great. Um, I can still go down maybe to a six and a quarter, and I can definitely go um, up to, I don't know, one, two, three, uh, seven and a half, seven and three quarter inch wrist. Uh, if you need an extra long, you get an extra long, but. It looks phenomenal, fits me fantastic. It adorns on me. I didn't show how the clasp works. So just for completeness sake, um, before we go, I'm going to show you that. I guess I'll show you right now. So I uh, take the watch off, right? You just press the two push buttons and it uh, opens up like that, right? And you take your hand out and that's how you put it back on. Now, if you need to size it or put it together the first time, this little trap door on the bottom just opens up and you can slide this wherever you want you need it looser we'll put it down here Ooh, let's go come on come on boink and there you go now it's bigger and you really never have to take it apart fully because um it's meant to be together all the time you wrap it around a pillow and you do you go about your business and that's gonna wrap it up uh this has been mark from longisleandwatch.com showing you the uh new Islanders ISL 97 and 98 that are a reboot of the 32 and 33. Please like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel if you've not done so. Questions or comments, put them down below and I'll be sure to address them as soon as I can. Thank you very much for watching. Bye bye.